Hey, good morning, and welcome back to Africa. This is the end of the road. But of course, this isn't Africa. These are the maroon lands in Suriname, in South America. And this is a very, very interesting place. The Maroons are a group of people here in Suriname who centuries ago escaped from slavery. And they went to go hiding in the rainforest, never to be recaptured again. And then what happened, most interestingly, is they went on to separate into different tribes, forming new tribes here in South America. They maintained the African languages that they spoke back in West Africa. They maintained the customs. And basically, they went on to form societies that were completely separate from the Dutch colony at the time. So this, you could easily argue, is the most African place outside of Africa. I don't understand a single word of what those students are saying. And actually, I've been having a lot of communication issues here. This may be the biggest linguistic challenge I've come up against. Suriname, as a formerly Dutch colony, has Dutch as the official language. And I've learned a bit of that, but it doesn't help that much here. It's not widely spoken. The bigger language is Sranantongo, which is kind of like an English, Dutch, Creole. And even though it has a lot of English words, it's very hard to understand as well. But the biggest language out here is actually the Saramakan language because these are the lands of the Saramakan Maroons. And that is also technically kind of a Creole language, but it's a very, very interesting Creole language. So in Saramakan, something like 20% of it comes from Portuguese words, another 10 or 20% comes from English and Dutch, but over 50% of the language comes from West African languages like Twi. And the West African influence is so strong that they still speak with tones in the language which is something that you only find over there in West Africa. Mr. Mai here was just teaching me some of the local Saramakan language. Yeah. It's pretty complicated, but now I know how to say Itafa, Ngisitongo. Do you speak English? Yeah, I do speak English. So this is the head for all the villages? Oh yeah, all the villages. Even along the river? Or even, even all the villages come here to, 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 to make that the people. Oh, okay. So this is like the headquarters? Headquarters, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so there was just like a huge torrential downpour, which is something that happens very often here. You want to see the place that I'm staying here? Here in uh, Kama, number eight, Kama Acht. It's a little bit Spartan. But uh, this is my room. So I got two beds here, you know. So I was here with my children or my wife. Or whatever you do with two beds in a room. Actually, I got three. I have a mattress. Locking the back door. Uh, got a little bathroom. Toothbrush holder. Functioning AC. You know how much this costs for one night? Seven dollars. Yeah. That's about the cheapest I've gotten since I stayed in that village in Kenya one time. It even has a kitchen also. But it's uh, kind of like a communal one that I share with the other residents of the building. Here, I'll show you. What is his name? Um, Kapasi. Kapasi. Hi, Kapasi. You use this? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, like her? Mm -hmm. Yeah, As you can see, there are a variety of dietary choices out here. 
Alright, oh, look out. Good. Don't blow your horn. Done for the day. Yeah. Nice. Oh, okay. There's the uh, Pokey Grown. Yeah. Where's Pokey Grown? So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a little tour around the last village that you can find before the river, which is Pokey Grown. And uh, my sources just told me that it should be along here. Upanango. <laughs> Upanango. Yeah. Playing soccer. Mm -hmm. Is your ball? Mm -hmm. Okay, your ball. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, you oh. I'm American. You gotta be better than this. Oh. Go get the ball. Okay, Cristiano Ronaldo. Kid is being a troll. You're trolling them. They have a serious game going on. What is uh, your name? Darben. Oh, okay. My name is uh, Tom. <laughs> I'm extremely amused, but how funny to think my name is. Hi. What is your name? Jersey New. Jersey New? Yeah. Okay. Robin, Robin. Okay. Ar Arjen Robin. Okay. Nice to meet you. Alasani Boon? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. You want to shake my hand? Okay, very good. Good job. Yeah, me agree. I go, I go there. Yeah. Me, uh, me, oh, dar. Fishing? Oh, uh, you catch fish? Hello, yeah. Sunny Boon? Yeah, man. Okay. On the. Hello, Sunny Boon. Nice. Jayutan. Me or Boon? Jayutan. Me Boon. Me Boon. Me Hill Boon. Good. Very strong. Yeah. Yeah. Man, this is really wild. It seriously feels like I've been transported directly back to Africa. <laughs> Let's go. Lata Fakhan. Yeah. Oh, this is where you wash and clothes here. Okay. Ufanango. I hope if you watch the Tanzania videos, you recognize that song. Sukari. Suka Sukari. You don't know the song? Sugar Sukari. Sugar Sukari. They don't know that Tanzania stuff. Okay, they're not that African. Okay. Whoa. Oh, yeah. crazy. Okay, me agwe. Yeah, me agwe. Hi. What is your name? What is your name? Gio. Okay. I'm Tommy. Hey, you. Hey. Where are you going? Ah, I don't know. Ik weet het niet. Jullie mijn vogel? Waar is jouw ouders? Ja? Your parents. 
Mama, Dada. Varus, Mama. Oh, my mother? Yeah. She's home. Oh, she's home. Okay, she's in the house. Yeah. Hi. Your brother? Boor? <laughs> no, okay. What is that? Camera. Camera. You want to see? <laughs> okay, yeah, now you're the cameraman. Oh, good job. Okay. Okay, take a nice picture. Go take a nice picture. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're almost as tall as me. <laughs> very tall, very tall. Oh, oh, I can't get it. I can't. Oh, it's too tall. It's too tall. Oh. <laughs> I got it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Very good. Very good video. Better than me. Swanango? Okay, you're my friend? <laughs> my land. Yes. Uh, oh, you mean my, my country? Yeah. My land is uh, America. America? Yeah. Whoa. Okay, where, where is... Uh, where is your father? Mother. Mother, father. Oh, here. Okay, we take you home. Where's family? I don't know where we're going right now, but I don't have a choice. Hopefully this is not like a Lord of the Flies situation. Yeah. yeah. Okay, wow. Wow, nice. Nice house. I like Okay, family is inside? Okay. I thought I my house. Look at your house? Okay. Your house is over there. Okay. Alright, so yes, your house is very nice. Very good. Yeah, okay, now we see your house. Where's your house? Okay. Your house, yeah. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> what? Hey. what is your name? Shuma. Shuma. Wow. That's, that's a nice name. This is Jael. Jael. Wow, Jael. Jael and Shuma. <laughs> your house is there. Okay. What is his name? Huh? His his name. Yes. Yeah. Safrik. Safrik. Uh -huh. Okay. Now we are going to Safrik's house. Uh, open angle. Yeah. Yeah. You have the full view. Uh, kinder. What you say? Hey, this kid. Yeah, how many? No, no. Okay. He is your kid? Three. Three. This, this, and. Okay. Three so boys. Three boys. Yeah. Okay, strong yeah. boys. Mm -hmm. A nice village. Where do you come from? America. Oh, America. Yeah, but I stay in Ajon. Oh. I thought I was in Ajon. Yeah. Okay, well, I say goodbye now. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. So I gotta say, I'm very proud of those kids. Not a single one ran away screaming, thinking I'm a ghost. How are you? Ah, I'm a bone. Yeah, I'm a bone. How are you? Yeah, you have a gun? I have a gun. It's a uh, head, head for uh, deer? Yeah. For animals? Animals. Okay. Need need to mention. Amen. Open angle. So what's really interesting about this part of Suriname is that this is where the paved roads end. You can't take these any further after this. If you want to go any further into the interior of Suriname, the Binnenland, you have to go on a boat along a river, like the Suriname River 
or any of the other numerous rivers that go through the heart of the country. And the vast majority of Suriname is actually rainforest, a jungle. In fact, it's the country with the highest cover of rainforest in the entire world. So that's a lot of rainforest. And the people that live around here, as I said, are the Saramakan Maroons. And they took advantage of the fact that it's really, really hard to get to in order to survive. And what I'm coming up on here is the Achoni Dock. And this really is the end of the road. This is where people will catch boats to get down to whatever village they live in along the river. Oh, okay. Yeah, I go. It's fairly quiet right now, but this area is most busy in the morning and around lunchtime. Then you got tons of people coming here to buy stuff from the two Chinese owned supermarkets on both sides of the street here. And there's also some bars and a restaurant. Yeah. So yeah, the all the people that live in the villages along that river down there, they'll take boats to come up here and either come to this supermarket. Uh, hey. Or uh, the other one over here, Atong Supermarket. This is just proof that you could literally go to Mars and still find a Chinese supermarket. And listen, I know there's at least one person watching this who's probably thinking like, aren't those Chinese coming here and taking jobs that the locals could do? Yeah, but do you know how convenient that supermarket is? Oh. Man, it just keeps raining and raining out here. I've never seen a country where it rains so much as it does here in Suriname. It kind of makes it difficult to film. But anyway, I think I'm going to turn in, try and get some rest, wake up early tomorrow, and uh, with some luck, We'll go on to see some more maroon villages along the river. Oh, man. Until tomorrow.